Are you one of the unlucky people that whenever you do vocal recordings in your home studio, you've got no choice of having background noise like computer fan, cooling fan, air conditioning, like in this example? Every day when you call my name, every time no longer the same. I feel your love drifting away. Imagine that horrible take that I've just done was one of your best ones, but you had that background noise. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can actually clean it so that you don't lose that great performance. I actually deliberately turned the fan on in my studio so I can actually get um, that noise in that recording so I can actually demonstrate. Now, to clean all that hiss and fan noise in the background, I'm going to demonstrate in Cakewalk with everything with free plugins. Now, there's one free plugin that you will need, and it's from Reaper. Now, the creators of the Reaper DAW also release a free Replugs VST plugin suite, and you can download them from this website. Reaper.fm forward slash replugs. We scroll down. You can download whichever edition you want, the 32-bit or 64-bit. But for Cakewalk, because it's a 64-bit system, you download the 64-bit. And you can have a quick look of all the different plugins, free plugins that you get, which are part of the native plugins in Reaper DAW. You get the compressor, the X compressor, Delay, EQ, one of my favorites, FIR, Gate, Stream, JS, and MIDI controller, and so on. So you will need these plugins downloaded and installed before you can move ahead. If you haven't already, and if you are going to follow my example, stop the video, go and download it, install it in Cakewalk, and you can continue. Okay, welcome back. I hope you actually downloaded and installed the plugin that we want to use from uh, Replugs here in Cocos. I'm just going to look at is the FIR. I'm just going to drag that right into the FX line. That's what we want to use. You can use this as an EQ. You can add EQ points and change it. But the function that we want to use, or the mode, is not EQ, but Subtract. And what this allows us is to capture the noise, create a profile of it, and then let it subtract that profile from the main audio. When I demonstrate, you will actually find out what it means. So first, I'm just going to go to the beginning where there's lots of noise. I'm going to select couple seconds of it. I'm going to click this loop so it loops around that noise. You can tell the loop by the yellow line that it just appeared there. So I'm just going to move the cursor there. Okay, once I've got highlighted, I'm just going to click automatically build noise profile. And I'm just going to press play. Done. Now, as you can see at the red part here, that's the noise profile that it's created. Now I'm going to remove the checkbox from building up the profile. And now let's have a listen. It's pretty quiet. So I'm going to select the clip and then make the loop the whole clip. Start from the beginning and let's have a listen now. Every day when you call my name, every time no longer the same, I feel your love drifting away. Let me turn it on and off as we listen. I'm going to start with off. Every day 
when you call my name every time no longer the same i feel your love drifting away now of course we can pretty much stop there that's clean enough but i'm going to take you one more step to make it even better so the next step we need to do is see all this bottom noise up to 100 hertz that we've got we can actually remove that with an eq now that we've got the profile it's going to go up to again cakewalk plugin and i'm just going to select the equalizer but i'm going to put it at the beginning before the fir and here i'm just going to select high pass probably about 100 hertz now none of the lower frequencies will appear every day when you call my name every time no longer the same and now i've got even cleaner audio that's feeding into the fir in subtract mode thus getting a better result we can do one last step as well this time we can put the gate after here i'm just gonna move it about depth of minus 22 db and let's have a listen every day when you call my name every time no longer the same i feel your love drifting away and now that clears everything else that's left afterwards let me turn all of the effects off and back on again to hear the difference every day when you call my name every time no longer the same every day when you call my name every time no longer the same of course you can go ahead and adjust all of the settings to get the best result out of your great performance but unfortunate with the background noise well i hope this video helped you out to clean up all of your vocals in an recorded in an unfortunate noisy environment if it did make sure you give me the thumbs up and as always thanks for watching and have a great time making music cheerio